welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alice and I'm a third year. I have one more semester left at Davidson. I'm graduating a semester early and I'm so excited to take you all along my day. I go to the gym every single morning basically. I hit PPL, which is push pull legs, and I go to the gym around like five to six times a week. It's such a great way to start off my morning. I just feel like moving my body in an intentional way and just dancing in the gym. I just love having good times. I made my little breakfast. I had some toast and now sipping on some coffee and journaling. I have a very in-depth morning routine. I really just drop into this space starting at the very beginning with this deep sense of gratitude for life. As someone who practices Buddhism, I just feel so deeply aligned with spirit and I'm still grappling with my relationship with religion, but I definitely do know that cultivating a deep sense of gratitude every day for this miracle of life that we're able to live is something that I prioritize in the mornings, especially being a morning person. I usually go to bed around 9, 9.30. I know that's very rare for college students, but I work out in the morning, I come back, I make my breakfast, I say gratitude prayer. I really spend the morning in silence. I'm a very big extrovert. I really do appreciate time alone and intentional time with myself to kind of reflect and also just spend time in silence. I feel like I have a very extroverted personality, so I feel like those of you who don't know me might be really surprised just based upon my vlogs that I would like spend time in silence with myself but I really do think that's a very important time especially in college when you're constantly surrounded by people. I have a single so I'm very lucky to have this space to myself. I eat in silence, I have my little meal and then I usually journal. So I have a journal right here, it's my manifestation journal and I have gotten through around half of my journal it's kind of insane because i started this a month ago so it's kind of crazy but i love journaling and i just love dropping into a deeper part of myself and just kind of reflecting upon my intentions for the day what kind of energy do i want to bring in what kind of like light do i want to bring to this world today what kind of communion do i want to have with spirits how can i really show up in the most authentic way and i feel like to cultivate this gratitude and to cultivate this like optimism that i feel like i share and try to share with the world journaling is key to kind of cultivating that sense of knowing and that sense of establishment of self and confidence and also just like this knowing of I'm here on this earth to be of service to others and to really share joy and love and bring together communities. Right now it's almost final season but I'm leaving early. It's very chaotic on campus and it's very stressful on campus sometimes with just like final season approaching and just like everything wrapping up. I'm leaving in a, like literally less than a week. I'm leaving on Wednesday and today is Friday so it's crazy I have to pack up my entire room and leave so it's just like very crazy but I feel like in these times of chaos and these times where you feel like you're navigating really dense energy it's actually of the most importance to have that sense of like grounding and have those medicines that you can turn to like going to the gym like journaling like living a yogic lifestyle living a meditative lifestyle where you're able to really like sit down with yourself in silence and think that's when it comes the most important like not when you are like lounging around and relaxing like that also is important but like during those times of stress like you need to be able to know what kind of medicine you need in that moment that will make you feel more grounded i will see you all after i do some journaling bye all hello everyone i'm done with some work chaotic morning to say the least now i am off to the health center to therapy i just really want to stress the importance of getting mental health help at davidson and just de stigmatizing the necessity for therapy and finding the help and the communities of support that will be able to help you throughout your time at Davidson. For me, that lies within the health center, one of the therapists who's a woman of color and also the associate Buddhist chaplain and obviously my community members and friends as well. I highly recommend everyone who is at Davidson to get some type of therapy, whether that be traditional form, whether that be practices like yoga or meditation, or just other forms of release. But I do think that therapy is important if you're able to find the right therapist. College offers free therapy bi-weekly. I guess it all depends if you find a therapist that matches your needs and your style of communication and processing. But I just wanted to emphasize that. So I will check in with you all after I finish my therapy appointment. I just came from the health center and I have a lollipop and I have a affirmation.
affirmations like little star i am so thankful for therapy i feel like just having therapy and having that outlet of really just talking it out and being able to receive helpful advice i've had therapists who have not been the best and i just feel really grateful to have a relationship where i feel like i can really truly communicate my boundaries and my needs and get really helpful advice so i'm feeling oh so grateful in this now moment now i am going to go do some work i have class at 10 30 and class at 11 30 but it's like the last week of classes so i'm very excited because i just have two classes and then two meetings and then i have a fun rest of my day so i'm really excited about that so grateful for everyone and everything in my life i will check in with you all later bye I'm here at lunch with Audrey again. Let's go. And we're going to plug Pasta and Hussein again because we have to keep both of them alive. Yeah, no, we're going to keep both of them So if you are Asian, <laughs> Literally, that's the only criteria. If you're Pan Asian or interested in Pan Asian culture, you can join Pasta. Yeah. And if you are Pan Asian and want to join an amazing alumni network, you have to join the Sapien. And the alumni are doing such cool things. Yeah, literally, if you want, even if you're in for that, just for the LinkedIn connections, They're still join the Sapien. Like every sector, they give amazing career advice. You can talk about like your day-to-day -day experience, how it's, it's literally so, it's so amazing. Fun. So yeah. and they're going and they're coming to campus tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Um, this is the mantra for today: take a deep breath. It's Audrey's last like ten days on campus. What's one takeaway that you've learned from Davidson? And two, what's the energy that you're gonna bring into this next chapter? My takeaway is that you are always growing. Mm -hmm. At every stage of your life, mm -hmm. you're always growing, you're never stagnant. Never stagnant. The energy I'm trying to bring is appreciating the little things in life because they leave so quickly. <laughs> yeah, these moments are so fleeting and we must take advantage of every moment to celebrate yeah, and be grateful. So that is our, that is, thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Future just in being queens right here. Yes. Hello everyone, I finished lunch. I have a quick Chinese 102 final project meeting. After that, I am going to take some time and decompress and then I am going to a really fun event at the Pasa Olas new house, which is so exciting that Pasa, the Pan Asian Student Association and Olas, the organization for Latin American students, got a house on Patterson Court Circle. So I'm going to a really fun event with them and then the Olas Gala later tonight. It should be a really fun time. I will update you all later. Okay, bye y'all. Okay y'all, so I finished my Chinese project and I just want to emphasize like the importance of rest. Super grateful for all the different events on campus and just really want to recognize that it's important to support different affinity groups. It's important to show up for your community. Community meaning not just your ethnic identity, not just your specific background identity, but show up in terms of supporting other people and supporting other background identities as well. And so I'm really excited to go to the Olas Gala and also the the salsa event so i'm gonna go to the event now and i will see you all there okay bye i am ready for the olas gala it took me a hot sec to get ready because i just hate makeup and I hate heels but this is my outfit and we're going for the simplistic vibe what a day what a night and I'm excited I just did some work and now oh that's gotta here I come okay so I'm vlogging my day so I don't know if you want to this is authentic hi everyone we're off to formal and we're doing some last minute prep I'm just clipping my nails <laughs> on the way to formal as yeah. one does literally know, oh really... Fidel formal just kidding hola hola scala I'm confused what this is
back. I have my retainer in hand, so you know it's getting real. I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for joining me on my day. I came back from the Olas and it was so much fun. And it's just so, so, so refreshing to be around people I love, a surrounding where I feel safe in, where I can express myself authentically. And I just feel so grateful to have a space where I can dance my little heart out and have fun. I am so excited for you all to see what a day in my life is like. Happy Friday, everyone. And as always, if anybody has any other questions, I'm happy to answer whatever. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to meet me where you are. And just, I am so thankful for you. Can't wait to catch you all in the next video. But for now, please take some deep breaths and remember you are so loved. I will see you all later. Until next time. Bye.